Problem 157, we're going to go through and expand 3x plus 1 to the 4th using the same pattern I would use for this. Now, in the past, I've shown Pascal's triangle and how we can get that, but I'm going to, this time, instead of actually going through and showing that, I'm going to build Pascal's triangle real quickly. So, Pascal's triangle starts off with a 1 on top. That is actually an end value of 0. And then we have 1s on the sides. That's for an end value of 1. Remember, the 1s always stay down the sides, and to get the next number in between any of these, we add these together. So I get 2. So row 3 will be 1, 3, 3, 1 by adding together again. And row 4, which is the full row I want to look at because I'm using a fourth power, is going to be a 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This is the row that tells me the coefficients. So I don't want the rest of this. I only want that row. So row 4 is my coefficients. So now my first coefficient is 1. And I would normally do a to the fourth. But now instead of that, I'm going to use my a value is 3x. So I have 3x to the fourth. And it would be times b to the zero. But I don't need to put anything to the zero power because that equals 1. Plus, my next term has a coefficient of 4. My 3x to the third now. And now I have my b value which is 1 to the first. Remember, these exponents have to add up to the 4 as well. My next term, the coefficient is going to be 6. So I have plus 6, 3x squared, 1 squared. Again, another pattern is my 3x. The exponent is going down. It's descending, and my b value, which is the 1, is started off at 0, and then we have 1 and 2, and it's going to increase. So my next term then has a coefficient of 4, so I'm going to have plus, and I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to give myself a little bit more room, 4, and 3x to the first, and 1 to the third. And my next term will then have my coefficient of 1, and my 3x will now be to the 0 power, which equals 1, so I don't have to write that. So I have my coefficient of 1, and then I have my b value, which is 1, to the fourth. So the next step now is I'm going to do my exponents on everything that I have in parentheses. So I have my coefficient of 1. 3x to the fourth is 3x times 3x times 3x times 3x. That is 81x to the fourth. My next term my next term is right here between the pluses. Everything in that whole term is being multiplied together. So I will have my coefficient of 4. 3x to the third is 27, because 3 times 3 times 3. x to the third times 1. Granted, I probably don't need that plus 1 there, but I'm just going to put it in while I'm working on this problem. My next term coefficient was 6. I have 3x squared, so that is 9x squared, and 1 squared is still 1. My next term, coefficient of 4, 3x to the first is just 3x, and 1 to the third is just 1. And my last term, a coefficient of 1, and 1 to the fourth is 1. 
So now my last step is just to simplify all of these terms. So my first term, everything up to that first plus symbol. 1 times 81x to the 4th is just 81x to the 4th. My next term, which is in between these plus symbols, everything there is being multiplied. So I have 4 times 27, which should be 108x to the 3rd. And then my next term in between the next set of pluses, I have 6 times 9 times 1. That is 54 x squared. My next term in between the next set of pluses is 12x. And my last term is 1. And that is the fourth degree polynomial that you get from expanding 3x plus 1 to the fourth.